Yo, what's going on guys? George from DT's Performance and today we're back at JNA Small Engine. Um, what we're doing today is we're gonna change the impeller on a Suzuki 140. All right, so the first thing you, you're gonna wanna remove is this cap right here in the back. It has a 10 millimeter bolt. Then this rubber hose, this, this is for the speedometer. Gonna remove that. And inside, there's that shift rod. It's just being held by this uh, this pin. All right, so then you're gonna remove these bolts. Those are four on each side, and those are 14 millimeter. All right, so we're gonna leave one threaded in just a bit. So whenever we separate it, it doesn't fall all the way down. All right, so here we just tapped it a little bit with the hammer, just slowly. It has these guides. Uh, this is just to help it like line up. So we're just gonna finish taking off this screw and lower it down. There shouldn't be anything else holding it, holding it in place, so let's lower it down. Okay. Mm -hmm. There it is. All right, so these are going to be 12 millimeters. Let me just get that wrench. Don't in guide. All right, so this one seems to be in fairly decent worn shape. Um, you always want to replace these at least once a year, or more often if um, if you don't use your boat that often, like this one. It's been parked for at least a year, so the rubber tends to dry out, and once you start it, you know bits of rubber starts uh, like chipping off and you're gonna have problems these are only like 30 40 bucks to replace uh, so I would highly recommend you replace them all right so right here I'm just gonna clean out all this mess this is all the little bugs and dirt since it's been parked for a good long time so I'm just going to scrape this off, just blow it off with the air compressor, make sure it's clean. Alright, so here it is. I already cleaned out most of the junk that was around here. Here is the impeller. Here's this uh, lock key that goes on this shaft to hold the impeller in place. And now let's install it. Here it is. This is uh, petroleum grease just to help lubricate it.
darle vueltas. I, when installing this, uh, you always want to rotate the shaft clockwise and push down on this. Um, All right, so we, before we install this, let me just tell you, you guys don't have to put silicone around this or around here. You don't have to. There's a, there's these holes right there. That's so the water can get in or uh, out. So just, just to let you guys know. All right, so now basically we're just installing everything in reverse. Same way we took it off, we're gonna put it back, back on. Um, on here, the, the water pipe that comes down, just make sure it sits inside the, the impeller. I didn't get a chance to, to show you guys, but um, on that housing from the impeller, the, the tube is in here, so just make sure you guys uh, put it in. Alright, now it's time for this, uh, for the shift rod right here inside. We're gonna put this pin and this little lock. And we're gonna use some needle nose. There. So after that's done, right here this line, this is our speedometer, I'm gonna connect it here. And finally, just a little cover. And that's it. Congratulations, you just installed an impeller on your boat. So just a quick recap. Um, here you're gonna take off this bolt. This is a 10 millimeters. Disconnect this. And uh, this is plastic. You're gonna disconnect this rubber line which is for your speedometer. And in there you have a pin 
with a little locking uh, clip and that's gonna be for your shift rod you're gonna disconnect those then you have four bolts on each side those are 14 millimeters you got four on each side and you got another 14 on the bottom this is also 14 millimeter you remove this it's a long bolt that goes all the way up here and then you can safely pull down your uh, your lower part of the transmission for the um, housing itself those are 12 millimeters four of them you replace your impeller um, and then just do everything back in reverse so that's it for this video you guys I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please hit that like button all right if you guys have any boat related questions just let me know in the comment section I also work on this is a Suzuki but I also work on um, Evan Rood this is a 50 uh, Johnson right here this is a 115 if it's an uh, inboard motor we also specialize um, if you guys like the videos about boats or anything with an engine uh, small engine lawn tractors you know I'll try to post up a video and try to help you guys as much as I can so thanks for watching subscribe and I'll see you in my next video peace out